it's you. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. Today, I'm introducing how to make delicious salty sweet spam musubi. This is my favorite Hawaiian and go to party picnic food, and I always get a lot of compliments on it from my friends. Let's get started! I like using spam light, but you can use regular spam with this recipe. I've tried so many spam musubi recipes, and this is my most perfect yet easiest one. Cut the spam into 6 pieces. You can cut it into 8 pieces if you like thinner meat. Next, let's make the furikake tamago mixed rice. First, just mix the cooked rice and seaweed furikake together. Try not to smash the rice when you mix it all together. And make some scramble egg to mix it with the rice. Crack 3 eggs and a 1 tablespoon of sugar and 1 pinch of salt, then mix them well. Used to make it in an omelette to clean between the spam and rice, but shipping it to fit was difficult. The scrambled egg version is much faster and easier. Cook the scrambled egg with some oil over medium heat. I like using four chopsticks to make fine scrambled eggs, and you can also use a fork or spatula. Add the scrambled egg to the furikake rice and mix them well, but try not to smash the rice again. The slightly sweet scrambled eggs and furikake gives a nice flavor to the spam musubi. Next, I'm gonna grate the spam slices in the same pan, so clean up the pan a little bit. Place the spam slices in the pan with no oil. Cook them over medium heat until they get nice grain marks on both sides. Add a mirin and a soy sauce and let the sauce to soak in the meat nicely. The soy sauce will burn easily, so flip the spam slices quickly to make them absorb the sauce. You can lower the heat to avoid burning. Then turn off the heat. Nicely grilled and glazed, but not overpowering. Wash the spam can and we'll use it to shape the musubi. Place some plastic wrap on the can and put about 3.5 ounces of furikake rice on it. Close the top part of the plastic wrap. Now this is a trick that a friend of mine taught me. Bend a small spoon like this, then you can press the rice easily. Press the rice quite hard to shape it firmly. Look at this beautiful rice layer! Place one spam slice on top and put the whole thing back into the spam can. Press the musubi with the spam again. Wrap the spam musubi with a piece of seaweed. I'll show you how to cut the seaweed like this later in the video. Wrap it tightly to keep the air out. So this is how to cut the seaweed for the spam musubi. Since I have 6 spam slices, I'm folding the seaweed seed into 6 parts to cut.
They're so tasty. My husband is so happy every time I make this. The salty sweet rice with a nicely glazed ham go perfectly together. Very colorful and appetizing too. You can also take them to picnics or barbecue parties. So try it out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be posting more tasty recipes. So please subscribe to my channel and push the like button. Bye then!